William Anderson Jr. was born in Selma, Alabama on August 30th, 1932. Growing up, two major parts of Anderson's childhood were his creative impulses and his experience with racism, both of which worked together to form his infamous professional photography career. Anderson's parents, William and Minnie Anderson, both worked at the Black-owned Burwell Infirmary. This clinic, created by Dr. L.L. L. Burwell, is so important, not only because it was established during the time when white-run hospitals refused to treat African Americans, but also because it was at this infirmary where William Anderson began to witness the poor conditions of the Black community. Although Anderson was a highly prolific printmaker, painter, and photographer, studying sculpting in graduate school is where he got his start. During the process of photographing his own sculptures for school, Anderson accidentally discovered the profession that would make him so well known in the future. In 1968, Anderson received his Master of Fine Arts from Instituto Allende in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. While working on his graduate degree, William Anderson was living in the middle of the civil rights movement, and he made an effort to incorporate this time into many of his early images. Anderson photographed a number of political rallies and riots because they aided him in attempting to call out the social injustices and inequalities that existed in America at the time. In 1975, after the civil rights movement ended, Anderson photographed Coretta Scott King and the recently late John Lewis crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. Both can be seen wearing light colored jackets in the front row. This image, entitled The Struggle Goes On, was taken at the reenactment of the Selma to Montgomery March on its 10th anniversary. It was so important at the time because not only did it revisit the horrific moment in history where African Americans were beaten, bloodied, and murdered, it also highlighted the ugly truth that even 10 years later, African Americans still were not receiving the justice they deserved. Later in his life, after the Civil Rights Movement, William Anderson began his teaching career. For a short period of time, he taught at Mississippi Valley State College but he is most known for teaching at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. There, he served as the chair of the visual arts department until his retirement in 2007. Anderson retired to pursue art full time, but there are many pieces created before his time at Morehouse that proves the main thrust of his work came into focus much earlier than his retirement. As Anderson traveled throughout the South for his work, he attempted to document the conditions of the homeless in America, as well as impoverished African Americans in rural families. One of his pieces that highlights this is 23rd Song, which depicts a row of makeshift shelters for the homeless in Atlanta, Georgia. One of his well-known images depicts a young black boy sleeping on what appears to be a stack of crates. Boy sleeping, taken in Savannah, Georgia in 1968, highlights the hardworking life of a young child who has a multitude of responsibilities at home. With this image, Anderson does not simply depict a sleeping child, he depicts a boy who sleeps to escape the harsh conditions of his environment and his community. Although Anderson documented the struggles of poverty-stricken individuals, he also photographed pride, beauty, strength, and courage. During the span of his 50-year career, Anderson made it a mission to reveal the humanity of impoverished individuals in the face of great hardships. William Anderson died on July 16, 2019, but his legacy continues as many of his works and collections can be found at major museums and galleries around the country including the National Gallery of Art in D.C., the Modern Museum of Art in Syracuse, and the High Museum of Art in Atlanta.